Hello there and welcome to the Wandering Wolf YouTube channel. I'm your host, Mark Rhodes. Alongside me is my friend and fellow wolf lifer, Mr. Craig Forward. How are you, mate? How you doing, mate? You all right? Well, I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. what, what, a, what a game to start on. <laughs> what a place to start. I mean, obviously not the best game, but we'll get into that. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah. We've just finished watching, obviously. Very disappointed. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I just don't know where to start, mate. To be honest. <sighs> yeah, I know it's been it's been a bit of a shocker. We've just lost to um, uh, West Brom. I can't even say the name. West Bromwich Albion three two um, with their reserves. Basically, uh, mm. there's a lot to go into during this YouTube channel, and uh, we are going to delve right into it. Um, but thank you before before we go any further. This is our first one. Thank you to everybody who subscribed so far. Yeah. Um, it's it's much appreciated. And uh, fingers crossed, you stay with us and bring more people on. We're going to have guests uh, going forward. Uh, some really really great guests. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Uh, but for now, it's just our ugly mugs, and uh, we'll we'll talk about the game and. Uh, you know, in a light-hearted fashion, there's enough doom and gloom around the place, um, but it is still raw. We've just come off um, uh, watching the game, so bear with us. We are still very angry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about let's talk about the game, mate. What what are your initial thoughts? Well, um, I'd just like to say, obviously, what you've just said there, mate. We, we mm. said we're going to keep this positive, uh, a light-hearted look. It's very difficult to do that after what we've just watched. Mm. Um, but we'll get into it. I mean, uh, just before we start, i just got a couple of shout-outs, if that's all right. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say uh, hello to David Kirtland and Phil Shuka of the Dubai Wolf Supporters Club. Um, yes. They're actually at the Media One Hotel in the garden on 8 Bar. So they all get there and um, get together, watch all the matches. It sounds absolutely amazing. Thank you. Better, for the, better wish they didn't do it today. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's worse places to be in the world. Indeed, obviously. indeed. Um, maybe we could do a show from there one day. I don't absolutely. know, enjoying them. That would be that, pretty that, that's, awesome. That's the dream, mate. That's the dream. The absolute dream. And also um, to Carol and John in South Carolina and all the Wolves fans there are giving us lots of support. So thank you very much for that. Um, so, yeah, that's it. We'll, we'll kick nice off. One. So um, yeah, I'll start us off, mate. Um, to be honest, there's there's lots of things wrong um, mm. at, the, at the moment, which we've just seen. Uh, we, this channel could probably go on for a good couple of hours today. Yeah. Um, I mean, what, for what me, is, keep... yeah, what what is primarily wrong on the pitch and off the pitch? Because we'll go into it, but Nuno, for me, I have never seen him so subdued on the bench he's usually up you know he's he's talking to the players he's like he took he took our captain off like what, well, what what's going on like there's something there's something that we don't know within that football club yeah. that is either being discussed or something that Nuno is not enjoying and you can see it in his face and he threw Cody under the bus today it's very apparent mate that there's more to it than just you know a football decisions um mm. I mean, to be honest, I think to start with, I think the formation was wrong today. I mean, we're just going through it last night. We should mm. be playing three at the back with wing backs. I'd love to have seen um, Hover and Eitnery from the start. I think that's our most dangerous um, style of play when we get it wide with Neto, um, get people in the box. That, that's where we look dangerous and we just look flat and we played so deep first half an hour until we scored. Um, you know, we just look... They looked like the team that had finished seventh in the Premier League twice. Yeah. You know, we looked like the ones scrapping. And then, obviously, you've said taking Cody off was was very, very odd decision. I mean, there's lots of people questioning, you know, why is he taking him off? But that seems to me more of a personal <clears throat> thing between the two, to be honest. Uh, you know, um, and I think, I think Nuno knows full well we need to strengthen. I think Foson have said no because of the... The, the current situation yeah. around the world, and that's fair enough. Yeah. They brought Katrone back and Gibbs White to try and bridge the gap. It's not, it's not enough. We need more. We don't just need more. We need so much more. Like <laughs> we we played a team today. Their only other win was against Sheffield United. They had eight points, and I know it's a derby, and I know like Albion. To be fair to him, they didn't give us any time on the ball. 
they did exactly what they needed to do and they did it well. Like yeah. it set up like a, a Sam Allardyce team uh, soaking up the pressure. We had about 12 corners. They, they, they didn't have a corner. Like, uh, well, can I just say, thank God they didn't have a corner because we can't, we can't defend set pieces. He brought, no. he brought Cody off primarily for the fact that it was his fault for the two goals in the second half. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he got the wrong side of the man for their equaliser and he gave away that soft penalty. Don't get me wrong. We probably should have had a penalty in the first half when Gibbs like oh, basically absolutely. caught the ball. But hey, hey, you know what? Penalties are given. They're not given. Whatever. We're not using that as an excuse because today no. was the first time that I thought that Nuno didn't want to be there. And and that, that freaks me out a little bit because I, I, I just don't know what we're going to do going forward if, if he either decides to leave or fails and just go, you know what, mate, you've gone as far as you can with this squad. Like, I, I, don't, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want Nuno to go. I really don't. But no, that he's got to take responsibility when we're playing like this. Because it is yeah. not good enough. It really well, isn't. At the end of the day, he's the manager and the book stops with him, doesn't it? Yes, um, yeah, true. But, um, I th- I, there's lots going on there that I think we don't know about. I mean, um, for me, the formation, people, d- d- they just don't look up for it as well. That was the other thing that got yeah. to me. Like, um, and somebody made the comment, you know, it, they just look like a, a bunch of, well, obviously a lot of them are, are, are foreigners, but they don't know what the derby means. They, they just yeah. It's just another game to them. Mm. And there was no passion. I mean, I know the fans in the, in the stadium bring that as well, don't they? But yeah. there was no fight. There was no... You want to see more from it. But like you say, Nuno just sat there with his arms folded on the you know in the dugout. It just does not fill you confidence, does it? Do you, do you think Nuno is basically going, told you... Yeah, told you. I, think, I need, I need, I, I need, I need more money. You're not giving me any money. This is what happens. Like, yeah. uh, uh, is he, is he that, is he that like spiteful? Well, I think, <laughs> he... yeah, I think, I think it's a massive told you so. Mm. I think he, he sat down with the board and said, I need money to strengthen, and they've said no. And it's not just this window. I think this is now like the third or fourth bad window, mm. and it's, it's, it's the culmination of all of those. We, we're trying to try, I get we're trying to change the formation to try and play a bit more a different style or attacking football, but we're doing it with the same yeah. squad and it's not working. But yeah. it, we've known it hasn't been working for a while. Mm. Now what are we doing differently? And I thought the lineup today was just all wrong. It's totally yeah. we showed him far too much respect. We were too cautious, and we got punished. In the first first seven minutes, like uh, that, that's the, that's the issue. Yeah, it is the issue, and it happened in the second half as well. Like, why can't we play a full forty five minutes without, uh, like, especially at the start? As soon as they scored, we got back into the game, and the, the second half, like, I, I've never ever seen us so pedestrian on the ball. Okay. The only two players that um, were anywhere near the level that I was expecting him to be were Bolly, who gave away the first penalty, which wasn't a penalty. He was outside the box, but whatever. Um, and um, I thought Neto had a decent game. But the problem was he did. we didn't get him on the ball enough. He was putting yeah. in crosses and nobody was in there. And Silva, like, yeah, took his goal really well. But my God, that lad... <laughs> Like, come off it. Come on. You've because got you've got to show me something. Show yeah. me something. And Catroni, like that that volley that he missed at the end of the game, like should have that, be better, 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 better. got to Absolutely. bury that. That's your moment. Like you're only getting 15 minutes of the game. I get that, but that is your moment to say, no, no, you're starting me next game. Because yeah. I've just got you out of jail here, but he didn't. And that's the issue. We haven't got those players at the moment. We haven't. No, we haven't. We haven't. Well, going to touch on Silver, obviously, we've talked about him a lot over uh, the last couple of weeks. And a lot. He's, we could do a whole episode on him, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I'm so glad he got his goal today. Obviously, it means very little now, I suppose. But he, he, took, he took that really well. I, I, was, yeah. I was completely shocked that, um, you know, he, he held that defender off really well. I don't know who it was. Yeah. Um, off the top of my head, but he, he did really well. Um, he played mm. well first half, but yeah, he just went back to his normal self, didn't he, quite quickly after that. And um, y- you need more. We, if we're going to be, well, 
we're obviously heading more towards a relegation battle. We are right? in a relegation battle, mate. Yeah, there's there's no there's no ifs, buts or maybes. Like if you look at the the games in hand that the other teams have got, we are looking over our shoulder now. We've had two home games against Everton and Albion and we've not picked up a point. That is not mid-table security. That is relegation form. And if uh, I I can see it coming down to uh, those teams at the bottom, us getting points against them, because I can't see us getting any points out of anyone at the moment. (laughs) I really can't. Can you though? Can you? Like after when half time came and we were two one in in the lead, I, I should be thinking put this game to bed. I wasn't. Because we yeah. know what happens. We did the same at Brighton. Yeah, like, you know, Martinho, yeah. like that penalty, SAF penalty, like uh, like 45 and a half minutes into the game, gives away a penalty. Cody gives away a penalty at the start of the second half. It's like they haven't switched on. And that's a yeah. new now thing. Because yeah, we're making the same mistakes over and over again. Over yeah. and over and over again. So frustrating, I know. Yeah. And I was surprised Martinho managed to stay on, you know, today. He should have been took off. We've, we've discussed that before. He, He's making mistakes. He's he not is, quite got the is. legs to keep going. He oh, no. needed freshening up in the middle. And I, I don't know, there's, there's so many things that we could discuss, mate. But yeah, I, I, I think... To, it's I so, think, so raw, I don't know where to start. I, I know, I know. I know it is raw and it's, it's tricky, but you've got to start in the defence. And defensively, we were a shambles. And there's got to be a point where Nuno goes, you know what, what got us here to the party in the first place? And that's three centre backs. I don't know what Absolutely. Kilman. I don't know what Kilman's Absolutely. gone. I don't know what Kilman's done to him. <laughs> it, like as he as he spat in his tea in a training session or something. Because that lad, whenever he's played in a centre with Cody and Bolly, has been like. I don't know. I, I really don't know what the problem is. We're playing a back three and the two wing backs. Like that's what got us seventh place last year and the year before. It wasn't a back four. That's an absolutely what we should have started with today. Um, I said to you last night, it should be Kilman, Cody, Sice yeah. at the back. Yeah. With the weak backs, you get Neto on the ball, try all right down the other flank, and that's where we're dangerous. And we yeah. just looked so flat and played so deep. It was you're just so frustrating. Who's your? Um, uh, uh, would you unreal. play Semedo as a wing back? Oh, uh, I, I, my personal preference is um, Hover. Yeah, me too. Over Semedo. And yeah, me too. You know, I'm just getting more and more frustrated with him, to be honest. Yeah. He's not... He's, well, that's the issue, mate. That's the issue, mate. We've got three players here. If we look at it, we've got Silva, 35 million. Catrone, 16 million. Semedo, 35 plus million. That's over 80 million pounds worth of football talent mm. that, you know what, in an ideal world, probably won't get in the first 11 if it wasn't for injuries. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you've got to you've got to look at the spending of what we're doing and in the right places. Yeah. You've got to and like and fair play fair play to Albion like they they outthought us. Hey, they they outthought us really well today and credit to them. They they came and did exactly what they needed to do. Yeah. And I think what's the most frustrating thing for Wolves fans is we kind of knew it was coming. We knew <laughs> Allardyce was going to come and do it. Yeah, we yeah, knew. yeah. He's had a few games to settle in. You know that. They've been conceding goals left, right and centre, getting hammered here, there and everywhere. They come to Molyneux and they do the job. They do it every single time. How many times have we said we knew it was coming and it's happened? Yeah. Yeah. And we all hope that it didn't and it's it's the derby and whatever and but it's happened. What They've happens what happens going what really happens well. what happens going forward then, mate? Because I just think like we are looking <clears> over our shoulder big time now. We've got our next league game's Chelsea. Like Chelsea away, which was, if you think about it, one of our better performances, and it paid, but it papered over the cracks with our last minute winner. Like you look at that, you look at that game, and you think that was actually the last time we put together a decent spell without without Jimenez. Do yeah, you know well, that I mean? seems like um, a lifetime oh. ago now. That team um, really does. But uh, thankfully, we've got a bit of a break. And we, you know, we got the FA Cup in the middle. I mean, oh, we got Chorley? I mean, oh my God, don't even, just don't, just don't even. Because <laughs> that's just like, what? You know, who do, who, who, pick one team you don't want to play. <laughs> yeah, away. 
surely. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, um, you know, we, we'll see what happens. And, and obviously we'll do another show um, uh, after the Chorley game. And we've got um, Steve Royal, uh, who's a massive uh, Chorley fan. Uh, he was the Britain's Got Talent finalist, a uh, brilliant comedian, top bloke. And yeah, uh, we're going to <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have him on. And he's going to be like, wow, I think we've actually got a chance to get to the fifth round here. Well, you never yeah. know. We might need cheering up, mate, haven't we? we well, this is there. true. This is true. But you know what? Going forward, let's, let's put this to bed if we can, because it's so difficult to do, because it's so raw. But yeah. I, just, I just think that we've we either go one way or the other we we go we jump on the bandwagon oh no no out this is horrendous or we give him some love and we give him some understanding and I, I think from my side i don't know about you matey but i just think that he does need some he needs some love man he needs some love because we, we we've had a lot of injuries granted Jimenez isn't the be all and end all he's not a one-man yeah. team and it we weren't, you know, free scoring when he was in the team. But exactly. now he's not in the team. Now he's not in the team. We really, really need to think of something very quickly and we need to get some players in. But well, who knows? Because of the pandemic, we might not be able to. Well, the, the commentary on BT, I was watching just, they said, you know, what, what are Wolves missing? And I think Glenn Hoddle said his name's Jimenez. And yeah, yeah. But that's not the issue. Um, like you say, we weren't free scoring when he was in the team. Obviously, yeah. it, it's the stuff he does off the ball. Um, obviously, he, he only needs one chance to get that goal. Yeah. Um, he's a you know he's a proper striker in that respect. But you know he's not the problem. He's not That's the problem. It's defensively. It's, it's what it, do, our defense, our boring defense. Like everybody, you know, loads of people. Oh God, Wolves are boring. Wolves are boring. We were winning one nil. Our most boring performance was at Leeds, and we won one nil. Because we played to our strengths, we played yeah. to our strengths. We sucked all the um, the attacking prowess of Leeds, and we just went ha ah, like that. And, and and that's how we play. And I know we're trying to find different ways of playing, but we're trying to run before we can walk. The last two seasons, we are not a seventh placed team in the Premier League. We are a mid table team at best, and at we've best, been yeah. and we've been fortunate with injuries the last couple of seasons and we've we've thought oh god actually we're, we've done really really well here and this yeah. is the first sticky period and um, like are you gonna jump on jump on Nuno's back or are you well, gonna give him some love I think we well, need to give him some love you know we me personally you know my thoughts mate we we stick by Nuno 100% do you know what yeah. I mean he's the best manager we've had you yeah. know in years and years and years be careful what you wish for. Absolutely. Don't, you know, I don't think that he's in any danger of getting sacked. Um, he might walk though, mate. I, th I think you brought up um, <laughs> quite an interesting point about him maybe maybe walking. And I think mm. he's he said it before, you know, the, the pandemic's basically yeah. ruined football. And yeah. Whether you, that, that's just frustration talking, maybe, I don't know. But I can't, I can't see him walking. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope not. He's not going to get not. sacked. I, there's going to well, be there's going to be a big number of fans tonight. You know, Wolves Twitter is going to be a pretty uh, sad place. I think later on this afternoon, mm. the, the Nuno Out Brigade are going to be out in force, and I think that's understandable. It's frustrating, but it's raw, man. It's look raw. At, look I get at it. what he's done for us. We've had two seven place finishes. We've had the Europa run, FA um, Cup semi final. Let's not forget that FA Cup semi final. We've had one of the longest seasons, you know, out of anybody. Yeah, I hate to use the word um, transition because. I think everyone's just a bit fed up of hearing that, mate. But it, it's true. It's true. I think we need to get through this season by the skin of our teeth. I whether... think it will be by the skin of our teeth. I... Thank God Newcastle I... are so bad and Brighton are bad. And well, and full like I, I'm just I'm I'm really scared, mate. I'm it's, really it's scared. The first time I've been worried, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Transition is okay if you've got 40 points in the bag. We need yeah. another 18 points. We need probably another four or five wins. And at yeah. the moment, I I, unless Jimenez makes some kind of miracle recovery, I just can't see the foot. Where are the wins coming from? Well, are we going to strengthen now in January or is that it? I, I, I think that's got to be it, mate, because the window closes, well, is it the 1st of February? So yeah. he's got, uh, what's the date now? The 16th? Two weeks. He's got two weeks. And who are you going to find in two weeks that, one, wants to come to us, well, and two, at the moment? exactly, 
you you've just lost three two to Albion. You know, I, I don't know, mate. I really don't know. Uh, like, I, I think, I, I think, think, I think we've got the players to keep. Obviously, I can't believe I'm even saying this. We've got the players to keep us up. We've got to get that formation right. We've got to get some positivity back into the into the play. We've 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 just got to, like you said, look at what we've done in the past to get us to where we are and stick to that. Don't try and um, start transitioning and trying a different way. Let's just, me notes. It hasn't bit... worked. Go back to basics. Get the job done. Transition in pre-season next year. Go right. On. So we played. Was it, was it a four-three-three in the end? Yeah. God knows. Like I, I was like I was looking at, <laughs> it but but the the people on the bench, Vitania, like what, why didn't he come on when we needed to score a goal? Why is he bringing Morgan Gibbs White on? Morgan That's Gibbs White, di- he didn't pass a ball to a Wolves player. <laughs> they were all. It was either over over hit, or it went out of play. It was like uh, oh, now yeah. that's a Championship player coming in to try and strengthen a Premier League team. I completely agree. He's um, not a Premier League player for me. Vitinho should have come off for Vitinho. He's yeah. That's the change. That's, that's the change. The change hundred percent. Not yeah. everybody could see it. I think. Yeah. And well, I, I, well. That's frustrating, but. Who Look, knows? Credit to the Albion. They came. They did the job they needed to do. Oh God, they we've fought. said credit to the Albion three times already know, on this YouTube channel, and I like I hate great. myself for it. But like they, they've done, they did the job. They did the job. I'm a, I'm a disgrace. But um, yeah, hands up. Great, well yeah. done. Well, yeah. What, can, yeah. What, what else can you say? There's no defending that performance. In fairness, no. I, I think both of, both of us look like relegation candidates, but. <laughs> Albion knew knew they were in one. <laughs> that was basically <laughs> this game. <laughs> it was like, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, we know we're we're fighting for relegation, but at least we know it. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> shall we shall we relax a little bit now? Because I, I think we all need. I'm going redder and redder by the second. Well, try, um, try January is getting ever increasingly harder. I mean, oh, my, mate, I'm having a gin and tonic when I'm, this I'm is not finished. I'm 100 sure it's going to last the day. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't happening. It ain't happening, mate. Um, shall we do the quiz? Let's do it, mate. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> Enough doom and gloom. Obviously. Yeah, bit of, bit of banter. Well, it's a Wolves Albion quiz. So I don't know how uh, <laughs> doom and gloom it's not going to be. Uh, so each show we're going to do a quiz on the team that we've just played. So uh, obviously this one's going to be a Wolves versus West Bromwich Albion quiz. Um, and uh, we're, are we going to take it in turns? I've got five questions. Do it. Do yeah, it. yeah. I'm really not in the mood for a quiz. But no, I'm not either. <laughs> no, not at all. I want to throw my phone out the window, to be honest. But, uh, but uh, hey, you know, come on. Come on, let's calm it down. The let's only reason all... I want to do it is because one of these questions is absolute gold. So... Well, <laughs> old, old gold. Old gold, of course, yeah. All right. Okay, so we'll take it in turns, actually. We'll take let's it in it. turns. All right. Let's so five questions each. Here we go. How many wolves... And Albion players combined have played for England. Oh, question. <laughs> Is it A, 80, B, 67, C, 51, or D, 35? Oh, Wolves and Albion players combined. Um, Through the years, like like 1883, yeah. like was the oh, first game okay. we played against each other. So it's a pretty long time. Great game that was. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to say... Uh, 51. 51? Yeah. You're miles out. The answer is <laughs> A, 80. Really? 36 Wolves players and 44 well, Albion. They're even beating us in that. Well, there you go. Brilliant. All right, Fantastic. come on, where's that? No point for you. No point for me. Okay, no point for you. No. Okay, Make come on. Most of this, you're winning. <laughs> okay. So Come on. Maybe a slightly easier one because I've I've been hard done too. That you had four. You had four. It, like that was, like it's that, multiple choice. Like, Come on. If you're gonna go there and make it that hard, then that's fine. All right. All right. <laughs> well. Right. Head to head. Wolves and Albion have faced off 160 times prior to today's game. Yeah. How many of those have resulted in draws? Oh God. Is it A 35? Right. B 39. C forty three, or D forty seven. Uh, I'm gonna go forty seven. Ooh, you're 
close, but no cigarette. Oh, come on. At least, my, at least mine was uh, like a little bit. Like, oh. Okay. 40 se- what, what was the answer again? 43. 43. 43. Yeah. Yeah, they beat us more times than we've beaten them, haven't they? Yeah, they have, yeah. So annoying. Oh, yeah. That's okay. why I didn't choose that question. <laughs> right, okay. Peter Odden Wingy oh, mm. was the last Albion player to score a hat-trick in this fixture when we got turned over 5-1 in 2012. But who was the last Wolves player to score a hat-trick in a Black Country derby? Was it A, Steve Bull, B, Ewan Roberts, C, Don Goodman, or D, Sylvani Banks Blake, E Banks Blake. That, my friend, would be Ewan Roberts. Oh, and he's right. Well done. Yeah. yeah. 4 2 win back in 1996. This is, th- these are the time scales we're talking about, people. Oh, man, honestly. Oh, fun. my God. Okay. Right. All right. So, well done. So, it's 1 0 to you fully. Well done. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Right. On to the next one. We'll stick with the same game. Yeah. So, um, well, let me just find out where I am. Right. <laughs> Come on, Quizmaster. <laughs> Which ex Wolves player in mm. that very game we just discussed? Yeah, yeah. Came on, came on as a sub and scored the fourth goal for WBA. Ex Wolves player. Ah. Oh, no what, choices. Oh, the five. What the five one? Yeah. Oh. Ex Wolves player. Yeah. He came on as a sub and scored the fourth goal. Did he? Yeah. Oh, I think I'd zoned out by then, mate. <laughs> um, and he used to play for Wolves. Mm. Uh, back in 2002, everybody's like watching it going, you moron, why don't you know it? You're not a Wolves fan. Um, You're okay. tr- the only reason I didn't give you choices is because every time we've done a quiz, <laughs> so easy. You've, you've, your knowledge is incredible. <laughs> I am going to go with... Fuck. Far, far, what was his name? Do you, do you want the initial of his Yes, I really do, yes. A. 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 Uh, no, I don't know it. I don't know it. Who is it? it? Was Ke- Keith Andrews. Keith Andrews scored against us. Yeah, oh, that's man, that's, that's so one. annoying. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got another one for you. So uh, you're 1-0 in front after two questions. I'm getting, I'm getting spanked here. Okay. How far is Molyneux from the Hawthorns? Is it A, 9.5 miles, B, 11.8 miles, C, 12.6 miles, or D, 15.1 miles? Ooh, are we talking like in a car or as the crow flies? It's still, it's still the same amount. Big difference. It depends if you've got to go. I haven't, I haven't told, I haven't Black told you. <laughs> what? I got it from Google, so, you know. Okay. But, uh, okay. That, my friend, would be uh, B. It wouldn't. It'd be C, 12.6 miles. 12.6 miles. Uh, I wish it was 126 miles away I today. Wish. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wish I was 26 miles away. <laughs> All right. So it's 1-0 to you. And, okay. and this is for the draw. This is for the draw. Okay. Uh, here we go. Right. You're going to like this one. Am I? Yeah, I think so. Okay, <laughs> so, bring it. Here we go. Baggy Bird found himself in hot water and was banned from Molyneux for which reason? <laughs> Have you not given me multiple choice? Yeah, multiple choice. Oh, okay, cool. A, yeah. a Wolves fan threw a programme at him before the match. He picked it up, pretended to read it and then acted out wiping his bum on it. <laughs> good, that's good, it's funny. Yeah. B, he urinated in the home dressing room prior to the teams turning up. <laughs> See, he complained about the standard of hospitality for a travelling mascot, especially the stature of Baggy Bird, and ended up in an altercation with the hospitality manager. I got a heart. That's right. Oh yeah. Or D. Ah. Uh, he shed his he shed his costume and was found running around Molyneux, naked, chasing home fans around, shouting, "You'll never be as good as Baggy Bird." Following allegations as he'd been drinking heavily from inside his costume throughout the game. That's wonderful. So good. I've got to go with the first one because like, the other three are just crazy. Oh, God. Yeah, it's definitely the one where he picked up the programme and wiped his bum. You sure? Yeah, 100%. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Come on, man. 
<laughs> You'll never be as good as Baggy Bird. What? That was a good one. I thought it was really good. All right, so it's 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 one all. It's one all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, I'll take a draw. That's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with the draw. Um, yeah, guys, if you want to send in some questions uh, for yeah, us, you might need to. You might. Yeah, need to. They, they 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 were <laughs> shocking, um, but but we weren't really hard on them. But if you've got any questions and obviously comments as well, um, make them nice. And if not, make oh. them constructive at yeah. least. Um, yeah. But yeah, t- tell us how you're feeling. Um, really, really, uh, I know it's a really, really hard time. Um, at the moment, being a Wolves fan, but we'll get there. We'll get there as long as long as we all believe in. I hate this, uh, like believe in the process oh, stuff. I can't believe you going there. I know. I'm sorry, but I, I just, I just think we need to be positive. I know it's really hard because we've just <laughs> lost to our biggest rivals at home, um, but we've still got all uh, half the season to go, and we're on 22 yeah. points. Times yeah, that by two. Go. Times that by two. Massive misses for me. Massive misses. More more than I would say, Johnny, uh, who is a huge huge loss. Podence today yeah, would have had an absolute field day against that defence. Like yeah. it's just his trickery. Like the the way he holds up the play. The way he wins fouls. I I just think that we need to take into consideration the people that we haven't got at the Absolutely. moment. We really do. Yeah. Everybody is going to be upset and negative and frustrated, you know, on social media and whatever yeah. later. Um, it's already happening. Yeah. We've got, yeah. Let's remember that actually. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great point. We've got, you know, six, seven out of the people who would start in an 11 out. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's players playing. I'm sure Neto is playing with a knock. You know, Trey Ray's had a knock. Uh, Bolly came back today after what, four or so weeks out, or yeah. three, four games out. Sorry. Scored a cracking and goal and gave away a penalty. It wasn't boring. No, it wasn't it's boring. Never, it's never boring being a Wolves fan, and that's why. Oh, it do. really isn't. It really isn't. But so, I, I just, I just want the fans just to, just to stay together and and kind of look at, look at the bigger picture. Yeah, oh, well, and and hopefully the bigger picture isn't the championship. But no. you know, I, I, I don't think it will be, and. Uh, Norman. Obviously, I'm not as confident as what I was before the Everton and Albion games, but we've really still got to trust trust Nuno. Because yeah. I, the the only thing that I'm a bit concerned about is the relationship going forward with him and Connor Cody. Because yeah. I think I think taking off your captain after sixty odd minutes in a Black Country derby when you're needing to equalise. Um, says a real lot about their relationship going it's forward. It's a big statement that was. It really, fair. really is. Uh, and a lot, a lot of people. I, I, I was surprised, but he was at fault for the two goals. So it was, he had a terrible game. He was yeah. awful, but he is your captain. So yeah. it's kind of like it's up to Cody and Nuno to work together on that. Get Cody like firing up the players. What what kind of statement did that make? To the other players, when he yeah. takes off his captain, you know yeah, that was, that's not going to help matters, is it? It was a bold move, mate, and it'll be interesting to see what un- unfolds with that over yeah. the coming days. I think. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it was just a frustration move from Nuno, and we can get mm. on with it. And put it to bed. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, he's so angry, isn't he? He is. He doesn't look the same. He, he does. He know, looks. He's, he looks he's shattered. Bl- yeah, he's blamed like not seeing his family. So it's understandable, but at the end of the day, he's got a job to do. He's Wolves yeah. manager. It is what it's the same for everyone. Yeah, uh, agreed. You know, yeah. and he he's got to just suck it up and get on with it. Unfortunately, like yeah. we all have. Absolutely, so, I completely agree. But what would be your team um, going forward against Chelsea away? Well, well let well, no, actually, what. actually, let's leave Chelsea. Let's leave the Premier League for a second because I, I think we all need a break <laughs> from the Premier League because I really believe that the FA Cup is probably our best chance of any positivity this season. We're like, we've, we, we did a poll on um, uh, the Wandering Wolf um, uh, Twitter page and we asked, what would you rather have? Us being in the top half of the table with no cup run or the bottom half of the table with a cup run. I don't think we've got a choice anymore. <laughs> 
I think I think it's think bottom right. half and hopefully a cup run. And oh. it was like it was kind of like 60-40, obviously want to be in the top half, but beggars can't be choosers here. We've got well, you know, really, really got to put our faith in the FA Cup this year. Well, dare I say it, we've got a, an easy tie. Um with, oh, God, he's gone there. Like, you know, I've, you know I've, we're recording this, don't you? Yeah, I've done it now, haven't I? But yeah. there you go. Uh, it's out there. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see what team he plays against uh, Chorley, to be fair. It'd be very interesting to see whether he rest players and and go back to the three mm. uh, with the wing backs against Chelsea. I hope so. I really mm. hope so. Do you think um, do you think he'll stay with this formation for Chorley? Like the the four the four at the back. I just I just think you play as you mean to go on. I just think play the three uh, centre backs, play the wing backs. I'm completely with you on this. I really do. Stop Get the defence sorted, and then hopefully the rest will follow. Get a First couple of nil-nil draws. Clean sheet. Like, clean sheet, yeah. That's what That's he was asking for sheet. in the interviews, though. He said, mm-hmm. uh, like, fundamentally, we, we start all of this from the back. And uh, for me, conceding three goals against Albion, who I don't know whether have scored three goals in a single game this season. Yeah. Um, I, uh, but... That's 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 the thing here, isn't it? It's defensively we're absolute shambles, and going forward we're not much better. So it's it's, the, it's back to basics, mate, isn't it? You got to yeah. get get the defence sorted. Like you say, I think we've got the players to, you know, to overcome whatever this yeah. is that we're going through. Let's tighten it up at the back. Yeah, I'd definitely. I definitely just go start go back to a three. Yeah, uh, with the wing backs. Let's go and get a good result against Chorley. Let's yeah. get the confidence going again. Let's start Absolutely. again. Let's put this as like the the stake in the ground. That was where you know we stop all this, whatever's going on. Yeah, and let's move forward with positivity. That's all we can do. I think you're right. I think we're gonna have a, I think we're gonna have a good cup run, or at least try and focus on it. I think um, we should. I think we should. I think you're completely right. We haven't really got a choice anymore, especially with some of the teams' games in hands. We're gonna be mid table or probably slightly uh, like mid table, I mean, mate. I'd bite your hand off it. Like. I'll take that. But, between 11 and 15th, I'd bite your hand off right now. Yeah, absolutely. I'll 100%. Take it, I'll take it right now. But, yeah. um, you know, I think that that's where we are. That's what they've been saying now for weeks. It's so yeah. frustrating. But It is, it is. Know, anyway, we, you know, we, we, I'd be very um, interested to see what he does do against Shirley because right now I can't sit here and tell you really what, what's going to happen. Do you, do you give Catroni a, a run out against Shirley? Yeah, I think yeah. I think you've got to. What, what's the point of bringing him back if you're not going to play in games like Shirley? But saying you know. that, Silver scored now, hasn't he? So... Yeah, true. I, yeah, I agree with that. And uh, But the lad has played quite a few games. And I don't know whether it's... It's mentally fatiguing for him because he's, he's he's just a kid, so physically he's going to hold up. But yeah. you could you just see in his face when when he scored that goal, I thought yes, that's it. Like the tide is turning. But yeah. after uh, that's the, that's the problem that yeah. I think needs sorting out. The first ten minutes, at least of each half, try and shut up shop. Don't concede. Like because we've done it so many times, so many times this season, it's untrue, and it, it's it's really biting us on the backside, and we need to, we need to do something about it. We do, but uh, in Nuno we trust. And, yeah, you know, is that we'll trust get... wavering? Yeah, with some fans, it definitely will be. Yeah, but we'll stick with it, mate. Um, yeah. What what else can you do? We and also, to... and also, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. You know, we got rid of Mick, uh, McCarthy after we lost five one to Albion. Who do we bring in? Terry Connor. That's who we brought in. <laughs> like the poor <laughs> lad. Nobody, but nobody had come to us. That that was the issue then. And if we get rid of Nuno, I'm I'm all for people's opinions. But who we who are we bringing in that wants to come to to us? And also, he's going to do a better job. It's like it, it's all well and good piping up and saying Nuno out. He's he's got no idea. No, no. Nuno has what he has. He has the players at his disposal. He can ask for certain players, but if folks and say, "Sorry, mate, we've spent eighty million on players that you've asked for," yeah. Yeah. like you can't keep on opening. It's it's a business at the end of the day. Like that, you know what? Like you look at teams like Portsmouth who are like drop, dropping down the leagues because they overindulge in the transfer market, paid players 
over the odds and they plummeted like a stone because they weren't run very well business business wise we are run well we are making a profit but we're only making a profit if we stay in the premier league and at the moment it's looking iffy well i can't i can't even believe we're talking nuno out i mean it's no it's not it's, it's a it's a no, it's a nonsense it's an absolute some, nonsense some fans will be um and that's just out of frustration i think but you know we've got the right guy at the helm think about the injuries that we've got yeah um you'll get it right you'll get it right yeah you know, I, 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 fingers crossed mate and uh, you know what Let's not leave it. Yes, well, it's the same with Arsenal, isn't it? Like Arsene Wenger. Get get rid of him. Get rid of him. He's too old now. He doesn't know what he's doing. And then, and then, you know, we're not Arsenal. We we ain't got as many points as Arsenal. But I tell you what, watching Arsenal, they're like faded away into obscurity. Yeah, you know, with the, with the fully fit squad. Um, you know, get some confidence back. He's the man, he's the man for the job. That's I completely it. agree. I completely agree. And I think it, it always seems to be like these massive, massive games when we play the Albion <clears> anyway. But it seems like there's a line drawn here. We can go one way or the other here. We can put all our eggs in one basket and just trust Nuno and say, this is what you want to do. Fosun gives him some money to actually strengthen or Nuno leaves who else you bring in like I, I, I just don't, I don't know and it all could go pear shaped very very quickly because it has happened before yeah. and it can happen again it could go wrong so quickly and mm-hmm. we could be dropping down and yeah. down you know it, it doesn't bear thinking about just everybody keep calm yes keep positive we look forward to Chorley yeah let's get the positivity back let's Absolutely. forget today um, it's just one of those things that happens in football, mate, at the end of the day. Indeed. They'll sort it out. We've got the right man for the job. So, yeah. ever positive. Absolutely. Know, look forward to Friday and, and you know, see how we Shall go. we go and have a drink? I think yes. we should drink to this horrible, horrible <laughs> scoreline. But we are still above the Albion. We are still above the relegation zone. We're still in the FA Cup. And we've got a lot of good players coming back. Absolutely, and mate. We, we, need, we need to think positively. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But please, please do. Because more than ever, Nuno needs our support. He Absolutely. really, really does. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Agree. All right. Well, um, mate, I think that's it for us now, yeah, you, uh, you reckon? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll see you for Chorley, and uh, we'll have lovely Steve Royal. Uh, he'll be playing the quiz, and hopefully, um, we'll be going through to the fifth round. But um, really looking forward to it, mate. Yeah, it's going to be great. Thanks uh, ever so much for watching. Uh, we've been Wandering Wolf, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. See you later.